Alright, hang on to your hats and glasses for this one. It was a couple years ago that an 8-0 show team hosted an 0-8 Ravagers team and they got us in that one. It'd be our only loss of the season. This Oakland team, not as bad as that one, but looking to pull off the upset. And it's gonna be a little tough here as they get picked off by Asante Samuel right away. Takes it down to the 25 yard line. Vic backpedaling and caught by Anquan Bolden at the 10 yard line. Play action again, look out and sacked. All right, slight delay hopefully as we go end zone touchdown show. Reggie Lewis just across the goal line. Andrew Walter, the handoff to Clinton Portis, and nobody touches him as he goes right up the middle. 80-yard run for the former Miami Hurricane running back. Vic, outside to Jeremy Shockey, add a five-yard face mask to that one. Roll to the left this time. Reggie Lewis down inside the 35-yard line. Now we're inside the 20, and there's Lance Moore in the end zone. Vegas able to respond, no problem. 14-7, late stages of the first quarter. This one floated out to Portis, and he tumbles down across the 45-yard line. Play action. Walter doesn't even need to look downfield. Just turn around and sling it. Third down and two here. Walter quickly out to Jason Randall, and he's going to be down inside the 10 and the first quarter 14 7 show first play of the second and clinton portis untouched once again and look we got another team playing back hasn't happened very often this season as we find the fullback lawrence vickers a rare catch for him wide open gets us into ravager territory and there's that out route to reggie lewis having a easy time with that in this one vic able to get away from the rushers, but then goes out of bounds a few yards short of the end zone. Makes up for it here. No move to sell. Oh, he is going to celebrate and go with the layup over the goalpost. Vegas up 21 to 14. Andrew Walter all day to throw. Finds Jason Randall along the sideline over the middle to Devin Hall. He gets absolutely blasted by Ed Reed. Just gets that one off and it's Clinton Portis. Down to the six. We got third and goal at the nine. Just gets it off. Peter Warwick hangs on to it after his fellow Florida State alum Pat Watkins blasts him in the end zone. Third down and seven. Vic eludes the rush and gets just enough for the first down. Just gets that one off to Lance Moore. Pushed out of bounds at the 47. Go to the other side. And Quan Bolden out of bounds at the 40. We go to the left. Then the right. Then we're gonna go to the left. No, we're going to the right. Hey, trickeration there. Danny V down inside the 10. Final minute of the half and runs into a sack. Third down and goal at the 15. Vic, man in his face, but finds Reggie Lewis in the end zone with 22 seconds to go. 28-21, your halftime score. We got a Wild West showdown here in Vegas. And on third down, we run into a sack and punt the ball to the Ravagers. Rashawn Powers Neal with the catch there. The Oakland fullback, Clinton Portis, having a day receiving. Walter finds Jason Randall inside the five. Hand off to Portis. They call that a touchdown. Looked like he was easily short. So we challenge it. And there you see it. Second and goal. Portis definitely short that time. Third and goal. They go to the air and it goes to the foot of Sammy Davis. They settle for the short field goal. Not sure if that's a great idea against this high power offense. 28-24. Final minute of the third quarter. Lance Moore into Oakland territory. Third down and four. Quickly out to Anquan Bolden. We're down to the 25 and the third quarter. 28-24. We're in a rare dog fight. In this dominant 7-0 season where only last week against the Demons was our lone one-score game. Dan E.V. on the outside. That's not going to do it. It's third and goal play action. Picked off at the goal line. And it's Frank Walker and there's nobody else on the screen. 101-yard interception return 
Only Michael Vick's third interception of the season. And then we follow that up with a three and out. Four minutes to go. It's 31 to 28. Defense needs to get a stop. Third down and 15 here. And they go screen to Josh Sherman. That's nowhere near the mark. So here comes Vegas with less than three minutes to go. Outside to Anquan Bolden. And he's got it down inside the 40-yard line. Vic going to the left again. And it's Lance Moore at the 21. First play out of the two-minute warning. Outside to Ryan Moore. Down to the 11. Roll to the left. And Quan Bolden. Touchdown show. But still a buck 37 to go. And that seems like plenty of time for the Ravagers. The way they're moving the ball. Out. Picked off. Sammy Davis. Down inside the five. What a killer. Vic rolling to the left. Cut and into the end zone. Vegas. Looking like they're going to survive. Up 42-31 with a buck 18 on the clock. But the Ravagers ain't going down without a fight. Caught! Clinton Portis down to the 11. What the hell? Demetrius Williams scores. And okay, so here come the Ravagers. Two-point conversion is no good. So it's going to come down to the onside kick. And it's recovered by Ryan Moore. So we got 41 seconds. We're going to run out. Vic going to run to the left and fumbles the ball. Recovered by the defense. David Thornton's running free. The 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown. <coughs> Ravagers, why are we throwing the ball? Hits Napoleon Harris right in the shoulder. Two-point conversion is no good. We're going to have 30 seconds and an awful kickoff and excellent field positioning for the show. Vic, incomplete on play number one. Roll to the left, quickly out to Anquan Bolden. Across the 50, 18 seconds on the clock. Gets Lance Moore to the 30, 15, 14. Bolden out of bounds with 13 to go. Quickly out to Bolden. We're inside the 20. Call the timeout with 10 seconds to go. Sebastian Janikowski lining up for the 35-yard field goal. They try to ice him. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Five seconds to go. Walter heaves it downfield in a bunch of gray jerseys. That's it. Vegas survives 45 to 43. Almost choked this one away. But this is what championship teams got to do sometimes. Yeah, I would say Vic a near perfect game, but he almost blew it with the interception return and that fumble. Ouch. But we get the job done. And next up, we host the Boston Navigators coming off a big win over our rival San Diego Fleet. It's going to be a Monday night football game. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. Go show.